What do we got for a housing provider tip of the week here? All right. So I want to point something out. And we're going through this with a couple of tenants right now. Right now, a lot of people are considering selling. They might have owned the property for a while. They got some good equity and they're looking to sell. Maybe they're afraid of what's on the horizon. They want to cash out. And one thing that I'm seeing uh, landlords, uh, housing providers get held up on is if you have a Section 8 tenant, it's hard to get them out um, to move on the, the traditional move out date at the end of you know your notice. You know, if, Keep in mind the Chicago notices. If you've been somewhere more than three years, you have to give 120 day notice. Anything less, you got to give 60 day notice. But for us, we have uh, Section 8 residents that we give them that 60 day notice. And at the end of 60 days, they might mean well, but they couldn't find a place or they couldn't get all of their stuff together uh, to pass the inspection for the new place. And there's these delays and they, they don't always, uh, they don't always uh, get out there day 59 and start looking either. So, and can maybe they're underestimating the process. So what my advice here is if you are looking to get a resident out and they are a, it could be section eight in Cook County as well too. So HACC or DHA DuPage, we've had this issue as well. So if you are on a timeline, make sure you're working with your resident to help them either A, find somewhere else to live, B, explain to them how long it's been. You know, we had one resident that's been with us nine years and she just forgot how horrible the process was and how long it takes to, just to get her, her paperwork and so forth. So if you are up against a schedule and you're trying to give notice uh, and you have Section 8 residents, just make sure that you are allowing the time or kind of holding your resident's hand to make sure that uh, this goes as smooth as you want it to be.